print. Once you've done so, we have a few things to set up. The first thing you want to do is make sure at the top you've chosen the correct printer for what you're printing. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and click your setup button at the bottom and make sure that your orientation is landscape, the paper size is the correct paper size for your printout, and the zoom is set at 100%. The last thing you want to do is our print range. If you're printing a single drawing, you can leave it on current window as long as that is the view that is set up. In my case, my ground level is showing, and that's not what I'm going to print. I always print a sheet. So I'm going to choose the bottom option that is selected views and sheets. Once you select that, the select button becomes available, and you're going to click that as well. This will show you all of the views and sheets that exist in this project. Because again, we only want to print sheets. I'm going to uncheck the box next to views. That gives me a lot less options to choose from. At this point, then I can check mark the pages that I need, which might be all of them or just a portion of them, and click OK. It will ask you if you'd like to save this selection. You don't need to do that. So once you've done all this, so again, the printer has been selected. We've gone to the settings and made sure we're zoom 100%, correct paper size, correct paper orientation. And then we've changed to selected views, unchecked views, and selected the sheets we needed. You can click OK to print. This will send a multi-page print job to the printer so that all of your pages come out one after the next.